day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are going to make a super smart wooden chessboard. Start by clicking New 3D Design. We are going to build our chess board with 20 centimeter blocks. You'll see it's already set to 20 centimeters. We are going to change it to 20 by 1 and press Enter. Now we're going to make this a wood grain and we're going to do that by making this piece brown, a dark brown, and then we're going to make scribble lines through it and we're going to cut it in a very special way. So I'm going to ask you to do control D, set that one to the side and make it a hole. We're going to then bring out a piece of scribble and I want you to make scribble lines that are going to be the grain of wood. Now there is no perfect way to do this. You can make them double thick. Whatever you want is you create your very own unique wood grain. When you're done, you simply click done. We're going to take that and make it a lighter brown. I'm going to move it close to my shape and squeeze it down so it fits. Now remember our last piece was size one, so we're going to set this to size one as well. We do want it to stick out. That's part of this technique that's going to be cool. Don't worry about that at all. If you want to change the angle a little bit, have fun. Do whatever you need to make yours awesome. If you don't like what you did, you can double click and edit it. I'm happy with mine, so I'm going to leave it. Now let's go back over to this piece right here, and we're going to use it as a template to cut. So bring out another one of these. I'm going to tell you to go 30 by 30, so I'm going to hold shift, stretch it, type 30, press enter. I want to select the two of them, and I'm going to do a line. I want it to be centered and centered. It does not matter how tall it is. I'm going to shrink it down so it's closer to a normal size, and then group those two. I'm going to use control G. If you hit T for transparent, check it out. That is the exact size of our project inside. All right, friends, so here's how this magic works. We're going to group these two together. So I'm going to click on the light one first. Hold down shift, click on the dark one, and then we are going to group them. It gives us this pattern. We're going to turn on multicolor so everything comes through. And then, friends, we're going to take these two pieces, choose L for a line, choose middle, and choose middle. And we're going to turn this into a hole, and we're going to cut it perfect. Control G group bingo you've got your first piece of chessboard now we're going to save this as a part so we're going to click over here and we're going to choose your creations i'm going to create shape and i'm going to call it chess piece so i'm going to call this dark chess piece i'm not going to add any tags i'm never going to lock the pot part size and i'm going to save it now we need to make the light part size friends this is so slick ungroup for a moment let's hide this piece and let's flip flop our colors and even change our design a little we need to ungroup this one more time and let's change our colors and maybe even our pattern so i'm going to make this the dark one i'm going to go crazy and go out here into custom colors and just pick a different color just because it's cool now i'm going to pick the big piece and i'm going to make it a light color get my own custom one i like that I'm going to take this and I'm going to give it a bit of a twist and I'm going to squish it so it's just a little different. If I hit F, we can zoom in on it. I can even nudge that piece in here. This is what's so fun is you can customize these. So then remember the steps. It's click the smaller part, hold down shift, click the larger spot, do control G to group. Once you're done with that, turn on multicolor so it shows up. Now do show all and bring back our cutting piece. Friends, select it, control G, group it. You have got your second piece. Once again, we hit create shape. This one we're going to call chest light. And we are going to save that shape. All right, so now it's time to make our super fun chess board. Are you ready for this? All we do is drag this to a corner. Once again, F to fit view lets me see that better. Notice it's 20 by 20. So if we do control D and do shift nudge, shift nudge, and then shift nudge, shift nudge, there is a perfect gap for the other part. I'm going to bring out that other part right here. Notice you have to be patient. <laughs> Sometimes it takes forever that for that piece to show up. If you get impatient, you'll a lot of times get a bunch, but that turned out just fine. Now I can take this and rotate it 
make it different however I want. And once I get it nudged into place, it is Control-D, Shift-Nudge to move it to the other spot. Now to make an entire chessboard, it has to be eight by eight. Notice I've got four. That makes this so cool because I can just do Control D, do a bunch of shift nudges, and bingo, I have got the entire first row created. Now, if we do Control D and we do shift nudge two up, we need to mirror it. Pop, one click, and bang, you've got that all in place. I'm going to do some shift nudge to get down to the bottom of my project. Now I'm going to do control D and do that shift nudge forward. Notice because we have got an entire set, it is lined up perfect. If I hit home so we can see all, I can now do control D again and again because I did not touch anything else. And our epic chessboard has been created. And the nice thing about these is since they are shapes, our system isn't lagging. How cool is that? Friends, that's how easy it is to make your own smart wood grain chess set. Now you can get to work making the awesome pieces. Friends, as I wrap up, let me remind you about my website, hlmodtech.com. I've got the page dedicated to Tinkercad with a ton of awesome categories. And then right below it, the first day lessons. These are great for anybody that's just starting out in Tinkercad. Friends, I also want to highlight the super cool built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Friends, I do also want to highlight the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 600 members and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.